Hi friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. In the uh, PySpark 101 tutorial, in this video I am going to discuss about uh, how to create a RDD in uh, PySpark. Okay, so I am going to create a first RDD in PySpark. Okay, let us discuss in the code. Okay, let me minimize my recording window. Okay, so let me open the uh, the program where uh, I have created the RDD. Okay. So, uh, there are two types of uh, uh, RDD I have created in this example. One is uh, uh, RDD with uh, numbers, okay, so integer value. Another is RDD with uh, string values, okay. So, you can create a RDD, you can create a RDD of uh, a string number, uh, any, any numerical number or even key value pair, uh, many things you can create. Uh, in this example, I want to keep it simple. I just created a, a number uh, RDD with uh, numbers and RDD with testing okay so RDD is a distributed uh, resilient distributed data set okay so what it means is it's actually a, you can think of as a uh, uh, if you have, if you are aware of Java or uh, uh, Python basics so you can think is a collection object like you can think as array or list okay so that list will work generally in uh, either uh, Java programming language or Python programming language that list will only on a um, single node uh, operation that means you run that um, any operation you do on that list that will be running on single machine you you other machine uh, cannot access your list which is running on your program so uh, in spark uh, uh, world so what we want to achieve is a distributed computing right so so anybody can access uh, uh, other machines data right so we want actually a, a, a collection which can be distributed across the machine um, in memory. So that's why they introduced RDD. Okay, RDD it, it is it has fault tolerance. Okay, so it has uh, ability to uh, distribute the data into multiple machines memory. Okay, so now RDD has a two type of operation. You can you can actually apply uh, you can apply two type of operation on RDD. One is nothing but transformation. What is mean by transformation means transformation. Uh, you take an RDD, you create an RDD. When you apply a transformation function, you get a new RDD. Okay, so basically, you can it's another conversion of uh, uh, another uh, uh, conversion of uh, uh, that RDD. Okay, so uh, the, what is the other type of operation you can do, do it on uh, RDD is uh, actions. When you do the action function on the RDD, you get the result. So what I mean is, say example, uh, let me go through this program. So first thing is, uh, I just imported the necessary. Um, uh, PySpark packages okay then I just created the uh, this is the entry point of the Python program okay so I created the spark session object okay once I created the spark session object what I am doing is uh, I created a, a simple Python list okay if you want a list you create a list in Python one way is to use the uh, uh, rectangle uh, uh, square bracket okay you can put the uh, values in this so this become Python list so you can actually uh, make your python list as a rdd which is a distributed collection okay so to do that you need to use the spark session dot spark context dot parallelize parallelize is the method okay which is, is used to uh, convert your uh, normal python object into rdd so that's what you are doing comma you are putting some number what is this number means you can actually create a, a number of partition on on the RDD which you create basically you can slice your data okay horizontally so that's what so I am actually creating a three partition so this becomes one partition will have this two uh, number other partition two and one will be another partition so you get a new RDD so when you get the RDD you can apply a uh, if you apply a transformation you get a new RDD okay uh, so collect is the one of the action so first I will start with the transformations example then I will go for action examples so later so, but uh, I, will, I will I will be using a few actions in between uh, while using the transformation because once you do the transformation, you get new RDD. You don't get the result. So, uh, to if you want to see the result, okay, uh, you need to use the actions. Okay, so it can be a uh, persisting into uh, some action which persists into different uh, storage layer like uh, uh, and it can be a NoSQL or it can be SDFS uh, even in local list. Uh, some uh, actions can display your value in the console. So I'm using an action is a collect collect is the action which actually converts your RDD. Okay, results from results you will have in the RDD, right? Whatever the operation you do on RDD. 
that result i want to actually collect and display in the console once you do collect it will become actually a python object that you can print it so this is the one uh, uh, type of rdd okay so we created a, a python list which has numbers and converted into rdd then i'm just printing that i'm not doing any operation in this i'm just using this collection uh, action so uh, next type of rdd is a uh, <coughs> rdd which has a string value so i just created a, a names okay like uh, arun arvind arjun and anna okay so i just uh, use same parallelize uh, um, uh, function to uh, convert this uh, python list into rdd okay using it i am going to do two partition just doing the uh, after converting into rdd i'm just taking the what is the type of this rdd okay you can just using the type uh, uh, function you can check the what is the type of that particular object okay so again i am doing a collect and i am printing the value so we are just creating a two rdd and a, sorry two python object then converting that python object into uh, rdd okay by using the parallelize uh, function and we are just displaying it by using the uh, using the collect uh, action we are actually getting the results from the rdd and just printing it that nothing else we are doing in this i just making this program very simple okay let me run it so it is just uh, the print statement started so it is executing first it will just print uh, uh, whatever the uh, the python list okay so i am just printing the python list the numbers list okay so it just printed a python list and now it is actually printing the rdd okay so this is it is printed from the rdd this is the python list similarly this is the uh, python uh, object here we just uh, displayed here and then we did it so this is how you can create a rdd in uh, pyspark so thank you so much friends we'll see in the next video